Explore the future of mobility throughout the region with the CATS Redline Commuter Rail. The Red Line is a 25-mile commuter rail project that would use the existing Norfolk Southern Rail Line. The Red Line would directly serve Uptown Charlotte and the downtowns in Huntersville, Cornelius and Davidson, extending into Mount Morn in Iredell County. It would provide a direct connection to the Charlotte Gateway Station and the surrounding entertainment district. The Gateway Station would provide connection to the Red Line, Silver Line, Gold Line, Express and Local Bus Service, Amtrak, and Greyhound. Stations would function not only as park and rides, but as integrated mobility hubs with a broad range of features. Accommodations could include electric vehicle charging, scooter and e-bike storage, bike racks, benches with shelters, restrooms, and more. So let's take a look at how riding commuter rail is different from light rail in terms of customer experience and technology. Light rail trains typically run shorter distances, mostly within the center city. Commuter rail train routes are much longer and connect the center city to the surrounding communities. Your comfort is considered in the planning process. Commuter rail trains are larger and provide more seating and less standing room, which is convenient for passengers traveling longer distances. Light rail trains are smaller and provide more standing room for quick on and off service. As for distance between stops, commuter rail trains usually cover a longer distance from the center city and stop every two to five miles, typically running every 30 to 60 minutes. Light rail trains serve the areas closer to the center city and stop about every mile, running every 10 to 20 minutes. Light rail trains often rely on overhead electric lines and feature lighter vehicle designs. For the red line, an existing active freight line would be upgraded to support commuter rail services. The vehicle selected for the red line would be heavier to be compatible with freight traffic. Commuter rail trains have many power options, including diesel, biodiesel, or hydrogen. Now that you know the differences between commuter and light rail, it is important to remember they share many of the same advantages. Both forms of transportation contribute to economic growth, improved quality of life, and an eco-friendly atmosphere. They also both offer regional mobility connections and reliable, safe travel around our region. For more information on the proposed red line service between Uptown Charlotte and Mount Morn in Mooresville, call 855-925-2801 and enter project code 1752 or visit the website on your screen.